Hey guys, how are you? So I'm going to show you how to build a quick home page that looks like this one. So pretty simple, one main product with a few upsells and a nice slider, slideshow, a testimonial and social icons and a free shipping bar. So right now I have already set the top bar. Uh, pretty simple. I can display it on desktop or mobile or both. Uh, I can display social icons or not, and I can change the text, of course, add a button, change the colors, and a few other options like uh, currency conversion, I mean, uh, to, to, to display the, the currencies as well as the social icons. So I'm going to keep this navigation for later. Uh, what I want to do right now is to show you, well, uh, basic stuff like logo or not with height uh customer accounts uh card type as well um but the more important is uh the sections for the home page uh just to mention that uh, the sections are not limited to the home page they are uh, available to all the other pages as well as a built-in page builders for pages like about us or contact us page but i'm gonna just quickly create the same kind of stuff that we have on my demo right there so this is a duplicated uh, theme and i'm gonna add a slideshow and because i don't have any uh any uh other slide i'm gonna just delete this one so right now i have this i can select the time uh to switch the slides i can also make it a uh, bigger or smaller I'm gonna keep it medium and I can increase the text or reduce it as you can see and put it like really small so I'm gonna hit the slide select from my library this picture I'm gonna write here where is the maple syrup I'm not sure if you know where is it it is gonna delete this because I don't need it I'm gonna put uh, find it online button and this will lead to a product page let's say this product and find it in store this will lead to a store page but I'm too lazy to create one so let's put the contact page right there and um, I'm gonna let the text there, but I could like switch column, like align, alignment as well. But you know, you can play with this later. You can add a an overlay color uh, to play with opacity of the uh, of the image. Let's put it a little touch darker. And I'm gonna put some colors there. Ah, uh, gonna let white white and let's say like this and let's say I want to put an orange button really quick gonna put the border of the button as well as the background and that's pretty much it and I'm gonna change this font color for this one Okay, so I'm going to save. I have my slider, I have my buttons, and my title. Now I'm going to put a little touch of thrust and uh, add some icons. And by default, I have a list of the main icons that we see on stores, free shipping, returns, uh, the guarantee or the warranty, the best quality stuff, and the uh, safe checkout. And let's say I want to edit uh, one of them let's say this one oh let's say this one sorry so i'm gonna put nda improve because this is food and this is good so you see it it changes so this is done but you know i don't want any icon list title and i could also put them white and that's it click I'm going to add a section which is the product Excel itself. So, so the single product again 
I don't want any title there and I want to sell this product and I can choose if I want to send people to check out cart page on the product page or do nothing or stay on the same page or don't show any button um, I won't need the, qu the quantity right now and this is other options uh, that you can edit I'm gonna change the text of the button to a buy now and I'm gonna disable uh, the arrows actually uh, right here and I'm gonna disable the zoom as well so that's the product and I could also add a few other products uh, right below this is a slider we're currently adding a grid view as well so you can add four or more products here and they will slide on mobile and desktop as well so let's say I'm gonna upsell this that is sold out on Uber I see sold out but I could also see right below if I uncheck this box gonna have more products right there uh, maple jelly and since maple jolly I have uh, to select options or variants and when I click I'm gonna be able to select because I have product variants right now I'm gonna add a little more and the last one not sure I have enough products here so I'm gonna add again the same products so this is it and I'm gonna save just to make sure I don't lose everything so right now I have my slider icons the featured product and uh, a few other upsell products and I want to change this sorry not this one I want to change this title to app you may also like so that's it then what I want to do is to had just to remember myself yeah this image with uh, I'm gonna add another slideshow actually and I'm gonna add a small one and I won't check this I'm gonna remove this and had not from my desktop but from the library this one just remember the text Okay, so there are several, I don't remember several types of my bull syrup, let's say. Horse is the best one. period okay so I can add or no a button but well I will in this case I will add taste the difference and I'm gonna send it to there would be better off like this no second button image could be aligned differently like this it's nicer or like that and I'm gonna go a bit fancy and add a overlay color
maybe less intense. Just like this. And change the primary button color as well as the text. So I'm going to save this and add two last parts to build my own page. I want um, I want a testimonial. Let's say I lost 10 pounds eating maple syrup. Amazing. Okay. I'm gonna upload a picture of a girl. Cute one. His name is Jennifer and she works at Proud Magazine. That's it. I'm gonna save. And I could add more stuff, but it's, I mean, it looks pretty nice already. So, what I could do is maybe add a separator to make a nicer separation of a few sections, but it's not, I mean, it's really not needed. Maybe this will look pretty nice right here. And that's it. So you have in about 12 minutes built a custom, really nice looking um, store. And yeah, so you can start from there and we'll show uh, how we do the other pages with the same sections logic. Thanks a lot.